past century, there is a major epidemic which is sweeping the nation. And this epidemic goes by the name of sleep deprivation. Today, we'll be looking at prime examples of this in a high school environment. Are you the ones doing the interview thingy? I have some people I want to, I want you to interview. Here's one, now. What's his name? Uh, Benny. <laughs> I'm Joe Stalin, for time. And uh, my relationship with sleep? I don't really sleep. I, I see sleep, it's for the weak. Who are you, and uh, what's your relationship with sleep? Me? My name's Helena. I obviously get enough sleep, as you can tell by my beautiful complexion. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm supposed to interview you. What's your relationship with sleep? Excuse me. Thank you. Sleep is for people who don't have jobs like me, people who don't work out. Uh, you can sleep when you're dead, of course. Me and sleep go like, like paper and pencil. They just go like great. You can obviously tell. And I love to get most of my beauty sleep during class because I'll be up all night working on my makeup and my soft skin as you can feel, yeah. Mirror boy, come here. Yes, master. You're looking wonderful, master. Sorry, man. I was working on an essay last night. Whoa, is, uh, is that guy okay? Hey, excuse me. The focus is on me, no, okay? No, I think that guy's in trouble. I think I have to call him an ambulance. No, of course not. You have to focus on only me. No, I think I'm gonna call this guy an ambulance. This might, this might be a problem. Well, there you have it, folks. Those are just a few examples of teenagers' relationships with sleep in the 21st century. Truly an unfortunate plague which must be dealt with immediately. <laughs> <laughs>